My name is Chris Padgett. I'm a founder of Fusion 3 Design. We're a uh, 3D printing company based out of Greensboro, North Carolina. And uh, our goal is to build a product that really enables people to take their ideas uh, into reality quickly and easily. So uh, this is our first printer. We're calling it the F306. The 306 is um, for the build volume. It's one cubic foot, which is 306 millimeters on a side. We think it's one of the biggest build volumes of a printer in its class. We put a lot of effort into the mechanical design of this printer to really make the reliability rock solid, uh, to really make the, the print quality as high as possible, and to make it as easy to use as possible. So we're really after, you turn it on, you feed it the G-code file, it works the same every time, the prints look great every time, and uh, I feel like we're pretty close to that. So I'll walk you through the mechanical design of this printer. So along with the big build volume comes the need to increase the printing speed as much as possible. Uh, otherwise the prints take forever. In order to increase the speed while maintaining print quality, it's important to reduce the moving mass. So what we've done is we use a drive system called uh, Core XY, which has two motors here. Both of them are used to do both X and Y motion. So the motors are stationary, they don't have to move, but we still get, um, you have two motors, so you still have two degrees of freedom. Along with that lower moving mass, we use a Bowden extruder. So the motor is mounted here, and it feeds the filament through a PTFE tube in here. When you scale the build volume up, you also, if you stick with a smooth rod design, you have to scale the smooth rods up. And to get a good enough stiffness, you're looking at 10 or 12 millimeter rods, which uh, really starts to increase the, the weight and the cost quite a bit. So we chose to move away from smooth rods entirely. We're using a linear bearing system that rides uh, on the aluminum extrusion itself. The advantage to this is it takes out a lot of parts. So we don't have to have smooth rods, we don't have to have smooth rod brackets. We just have uh, some bearings and a one inch by one inch T-slot extrusion. And it gets, it's very stiff, the motion is very smooth, it can also run at very high speeds. I've run this uh, machine up to speeds in excess of one meter per second with uh, no issues. Another aspect of reducing the moving mass is we have, the bed is, only moves in Z. It's quite a large bed, it's uh, 13 and a half by 13 and a half inches. And that starts to weigh quite a bit, so you don't want to move that around like a Mendel style. So the bed moves in Z, it's driven by a uh, lead screw mounted to a motor. We have some uh, outriggers up here to help damp any of the oscillation it picks up. The other thing we're doing with the X and Y drive system that's pretty novel is we're using a Spectra fishing line here. A couple other uh, printer designs have used this. Kossel uses it, uh, Tantalus uses it, but um, I think we're the first people to use it on a printer this big. And we're using that to replace the timing belts. Uh, this has a couple advantages. It takes some cost out. It also allows us to use lower line tension while still maintaining zero backlash. The other nice thing is it allows us to route the drive cable through the sides of the aluminum here. It allows us to make this turn in here inside the T-slot itself. So the cable is nice and protected. It's not exposed to getting caught on anything or the user hitting it. On the electronic side, we're using just a standard Rambo board from Multi Machine. It's uh, not too much exciting there. We're using Marlin for the firmware, and it's all driven by a 24-volt power supply. So if you're interested in more information, you can visit our website at fusion3design.com. We are just going into our beta test now. That's going to run for about two months. And uh, hopefully early fall, we'll be ready to start our first production run.